Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access and utilize tools within an assessment in Schoology. These tools are for your benefit and are available for everyone to use. So there's quite a few uh, tools that you can use for accessibility to help you with reading, um, text-to-speech. So I'm going to quickly go over how to access those tools, change the settings, and utilize them. So the first thing I would like to show you is this settings bar up here. So you have two bars for your tools. I'm going to start up here at the top. So here at the settings, I can change the settings for speech or the screen tools. We're going to start with the screen tools by showing you guys the mask reader. So there is a screen mask that you can use. You can use a letterbox, a ruler guide, or a line reader. I'm going to do the letterbox. So now when I click on this button here to, this is the uh, screen mask, I can only show parts of the question that I am reading. So if you like to like point your finger as you're reading a question or only show the part of the question that you're reading, um, this screen mask tool is very useful. You can change it to a line reader guide. So if I do that, then I see a line um, that I can use to only show parts of the question that I am reading at that time. Okay, so that is the screen mask tool. Another really cool tool that you can use is text to speech. So for this one, I'm going to start by clicking the settings and go to speech. There's a couple different ways that you can change the settings for this tool. You can change the voice speed, so slow, medium, or fast. I'm gonna keep it with slow because um, I really want to hear those questions. You can have the text be highlighted as it's being read. So I'm going to make it blue. So as it's being read, I will see the words light up blue. And I'm going to keep it in click. So I'm going to save those settings. Now I'm going to select this here to start reading the text. So I want the question read to me. I'm going to start with the the diagram below shows parts of a cell. Which organelle stores the information that determines an individual's blood type? Organelle 1. Organelle 2. Organelle 3. Organelle 4. Okay, and you can have the questions read to you as many times as needed. Just click on where you would like the text-to-speech to start. Um, so if you need to change those settings, if it's a little slow or you need it to go slower, you can change the speed, change the highlight or the speech mode. So you can either click or hover over the words. Okay, so that is the text to speech tool. I'm going to go ahead and click off of this because I'm not going to do text to speech anymore. Now I'm going to show you some accessibility tools. Okay, so to get to the accessibility tools, I'm going to go to this bar right here. I expanded it so I can see all my options and I'm going to click on accessibility. Here you can change the color of the background of your assessment to help you better read it so you can see it better. Um, so I'm going to change it to purple on light green, whichever is for your benefit, whichever one works best for you, select that option. Um, you can also change the font size. So if this is normal, if I need the print to be bigger so I can see it better, um, I can change the font size here. And then you also have options to zoom in and zoom out. It gives you the short key, uh, the key shortcuts on how to zoom in. Okay, so I've changed my color scheme and my font size. So now when I look at my question, the text has been enlarged and I now have it on a green background, so green and purple. You can change that at any time. So if you need to go to yellow or navy, whichever works best for you to have an easier time reading the questions. Okay, so that is under accessibility. 
right, the next tool that I would like to show you is how to eliminate answer choices. So I know we're online and it's kind of difficult to cross out answer choices, but you can do that with the Schoology tool. So I'm gonna click on eliminate answer choices. So as I'm going through my answer choices, whichever ones that I do not want to look at as an option, just click on it after clicking eliminate answer choice. Okay, so say I've narrowed it down to two answer choices, okay? Now, another interesting tool that you have is the flag for review. So let's say I narrowed it down to two answer choices, but I'm not quite sure yet. I wanna come back to it later. You can flag a question for review, and then when you review your exam, review your test questions, you will see that question. Um, that you have flagged it. You'll need to go back and review it. Okay. One of the last things I want to show you guys is the notepad. So you do have a notepad that you can use on this exam. You can take notes about this question and say, um, I know this is a cell. And then I can brain dump everything about cell, um, about this question. So cells are living things. Um, they are tiny whatever it is that you want to include on that notepad. You can do a brain dump, you can write notes, um, that is for you to use, okay? Lastly, you have the review feature. So when you flag questions, or if you um, need to jump to another question, maybe you didn't answer it, you need to check before you submit, you'll click on review, and it will show you the questions that you have not attempted yet, so here it says item one is unattempted and I flagged it. Item two is unattempted. So all the questions that I haven't answered yet will be, will be shown as well as ones that I've flagged. When you've answered all the questions, you should see them all with a blue line underneath them showing that you've answered the questions. And then once they've all been answered, you have no more flagged questions, you can click submit. Okay. So there's, again, there's quite a few tools here that you can use to help you on your exam. The goal here is for you to be as successful as possible. I hope this video helped you with navigating those tools. Um, please use them. They are for your benefit. If you have any questions at all, please message your teacher. We will be more than glad to help. Best of luck.